All right, so we're gonna play Pavlo's House, The Battle of Stalingrad, uh, published by Dan Verson Games, uh, made by David Thompson. Uh, it's a one player solitaire game uh, where you defend Pavlo's house in Stalingrad. You can also play it uh, two player uh, competitive or two player co op or three player, two player uh, playing as the Soviets against. Uh, the Wehrmacht player. I, I never tried those modes, but it's it's designed as a solitaire game, and it's it's one of my favorites. Uh, it's got game components: 140 cards, 100 wooden blocks, five sheets of counters, five dice, three reference sheets, uh, a mounted tactical display, and a rule book. Uh, according to this, the time to play is 60 minutes to 75 minutes. I I've most of my games is one one to two hours. Complexity moderate, I would say, it's it's easy to learn. Um, I'm I'm quite new to solitaire gaming, and I, I learned it in a day or so, uh, and I had trouble learning some other games. So anyway, we're gonna play the solitaire version of this. Uh, <clears throat> uh, let's see how we can do. So the first step of the game is going to be drawing the operational support. I get the barricade factory which gives me 4 victory points. Now according to the rule book uh, you should start without the operational support but to be honest I think just go ahead and use them because they don't add any difficulty to the game and barely any complexity. I mean you only have to remember to put that there and if you get uh, this one a Soviet card, you can go ahead and use it by removing these things and these cannot be dis uh, disrupted. It says on the card what it does, it's not difficult. After that I will draw four Soviet cards. Early in the game I like to go heavy anti-air, so I'm going to use these two to give me some anti-air. One is on the 267th and the other one is on the 1083rd. And I'm going to go ahead and put a signal battalion up. They're good for protecting yourself against Stuka attacks because if they get hit you get a fog of war card in your Soviet card deck. And then we have the first Wehrmacht phase, and we get Stukas. So I'm removing one of them, rolling three down, four or higher, and the Stukas are dead. And there are two Stukas, and I don't get a single one. Okay. I should have rolled, uh, let's see, I should have rolled two dice there. I rolled, uh, I rolled two. Uh, but anyway, none of them died anyway, uh, and there's two Stukas, so there's two bombings, three dice each, and we get an 8, and there, we already have an AA token there, so that gets bombed away, and then one final Stuka attack, and we have, let's see, 9, 13, so we get a disruption token on 13, we get a rifleman, Roll for his position and rifleman go in two. Uh, we get artillery with five dice on green. One to two is green wall. And I don't think it's gonna survive. Oh, it survived! That's quite rare. Alright, so the first Wehrmacht phase is over and we go over to Pavlov's house here. Let's see, I think I'm going to try to take out that Rifleman. Alright, you get three moves and three actions every turn. So I'm going to start with Alexandrov and fire one dice at the Rifleman. And I got him. Uh, Defense value is 4, so 4, 5, and 6 will kill him, so there's a 50% chance to kill those riflemen. 
so he's dead and this guy is now exhausted then I'm using these two guys as you can see here let me get to the camera this guy has one attack value and one suppression value so I can attack with one die or use uh, his suppression to get one suppression token so both of these get exhausted but I will have two suppression tokens in the red area this guy who's standing in green and red can get a suppression token in either red or green area all right so oops we move on to the next so we have hard phase and we'll use this card the 13th guard the rifle division to recruit the man and i will recruit the sniper he's my favorite uh, i'll use let's see do i have disruption tokens there no i don't i'll use this one to do the operational support they want one med kit ammo food and a sapper no problem four that gives me four uh, victory points if i manage to win and i'll just put that there to remember that i've got it uh, okay i'll do another operational support for an ammo token which will give me one victory point and then I'll use, okay, you can only use three out of four. So that's all I can do for this turn. I'm hoping there's not going to be a lot of Stukas this Wehrmacht phase, but usually there is. So we'll see how that goes. An artillery on five, which means purple wall. Six or, and I'm hit. Yes, we have two sixes, so the wall is hit. Goes from six to five. Ooh, Stukas. Not good. Three guys. There's two Stukas, and the first one is nine. Disruption token on nine. One more, and it goes on eight. Oof, almost all my AA is disrupted. Another Stuka. Three Stukas. Okay, this is not good. 8 again, and then it goes to 10. Two more, we get 7. Alright. And 12. Oh, all my AA is disrupted now. That's not good. But that's what happens when you don't invest heavily in AA. Uh, yeah, okay, so we go to this area again. Uh, moving these guys in. And let's see. I'm using Pavlov's command ability. Only Pavlov, Afanesev, and Naumov has it. And when they use their command ability, they're able to unexhaust or undisrupt three other. Uh, Soviet counters and I'm using my sniper to use the radio to get an uh, anti-tank rifle into the house so I only used two actions this turn which means I need more men but usually I don't recruit more than five until the first resupply phase to be able to save some food tokens Okay, Soviet face. Uh, let's see here. I do need the AA, but it's disrupted. So all I can do is remove a disruption token. Mm. I'll use this to get rid of the disruption token for this and then I'll use this one 
to do the next operational support, which requires one more food, one medic, and one ammo. And that's three victory points. So I have eight victory points now in just those operational support cards. But it's quite daring because if I get too many Yunkers now, I'm gonna be dead. Scout number three. Attack building, hopefully not purple, and we get purple. Four die. Five or higher. Oh, I can't believe that. Okay, we get a lot of Stuka. I saw it coming. I pay the price now for not investing in AA. I get one on 15, and when you get on the on those guys, you gotta put a fog of war card into your uh, discard pile. Two more attacks. Nine. Which is already disrupted, so it goes up. The last attack. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And it goes up, 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 all the way to the 14th, and I get another Flower War card. Okay, I gotta stop messing around with those operational support now. <clears throat> I mean, you want the points, but it's a dangerous game to play. Alright, so with this turn, I'm exhaust. Uh, let's see. A fire. Hmm. No. I'll exhaust, I'll exhaust my sniper. I unexhaust Pablo. I will use Klashenko to get a suppression token into the red zone. And that's it. That's it. Okay. It's easier if you can see your cards. Oh, man, I'm getting so many 13 guards uh, rifle division now. It's worrying me because <clears throat> that means that I'm not going to get many of them after this. And after this is when I want to start investing in troops. Alright, the 267th, uh, 1083rd AA. And then I'm gonna get the 139th Signal Battalion to put a token there to protect me from further fog of war cards. So we get a resupply, and I'm losing one food token because you pay one food token for every defender in Pablo's house, for every five defenders in Pablo's house, and I have five defenders. We get our first tank, which means I gotta start investing in. Uh, anti tank troops goes on number three and it's a panzer three. And a rifleman on number one. We will use our resupply card, which will be turned into a storm group and we will put it there. Uh, I'll move him there, moving him there. Not changing his place for Pablo. I want to stay out of here in case this gets attacked by a sniper. There's no need, there's no enemies there anyway. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the radio again. Get an anti tag guy into the house. I'm using the sniper to fire at the scouts with four die. Need five or higher to kill them. And he's dead. The scouts can be hard sometimes. We're not always so lucky with them. And then I'm using this guy to get another suppression token in the red. Usually what I do with suppression tokens, obviously I use them if I will die. If I get, for example, if I have three Wehrmacht forces here and then I get a fourth one, 
I will use the suppression tokens, all of them used to not lose the game, but I tend to save them towards the end of the game because you have to keep the red zone clear if you want to initiate the Milk House Storm Raid, uh, which will give you 15 victory points. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, I forgot to get up, put an action token on him, but I remember. So, so it face again. I need AA. Hmm. I'm gonna use that one to bring in some stuff. I get to bring in five of these uh, things. Then I'm using the Volga to get here and there. I wish I had another Volga, but I don't. Oops, so. That's the question, because if I use the 139 signal battalion now, to remove a disruption token, what will happen is, if I get a Stuka attack there, I'm gonna get a Fog of War card in my discard pile. But if I leave it, that's not gonna happen, because it's gonna remove this one. So that's a hard, uh, hard thing to, do, to know what to do, but I think it's smarter to use the artillery and remove this one. Oops. And uh, it will, I will have a bigger chance of keeping this one clear with artillery there open because it will not move upwards if it's already disrupted. I don't know why I didn't use the AA now. I guess it's because I'm, I'm kind of feeling like I need to get some stuff into the house. There's going to be a sniper soon. I'm going to need a med pack if he shoots at Pablo. Uh, we get a mortar, and hopefully not purple, and it's red. Okay, and he will try to suppress number five. Uh, doesn't exist. We go lower because there's no upper, and he will try to suppress Shergo or no love. All right, and he will do so with four die, and he has to have a six, and he doesn't. And we get a pants two. I need to get some AA, and he goes on free. That's not good. Okay, we'll get a machine gunner on two. All right. So what to do? Not much to do, to be honest. Using Pablo here. Did I? I don't know any longer. Using Pablo to unexhaust these guys. And I'm using this guy to unexhaust himself. And this guy stays right there in the reserves. He can't do anything alone anyway. Yeah, I, I desperately need more men now, or I'm gonna have a hard time. You see? Oh, there I got it, finally. Thank you. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the Inspire guy here. He's good because he lets every AT <coughs> team roll one extra die. And then I have three more points. So I'm getting this lad here. And I'm doing that with this card. Uh, gotta get some AA, feels like that could be needed soon. Stukas are always coming. And the Volga military flotilla to get some food in here and a medkit in case the sniper gets a hit on any essential personnel. And look at that, we get the sniper and he will attack. Uh, purple zone! He's attacking the purple zone! And that's exactly why I didn't put anyone there. Because keep it clear and you might survive a sniper attack. That's nice. I'll save my medkit for later. I am sure I will need it. So we get artillery, which attacks green with free die. Only success will do. And it doesn't. Wow! Okay, so this is bad. Assault. So first of all, the infantry in the green zone will roll about two. They will try to suppress, and they will try to suppress Pablo. 
And they will do so with three die, because the machine gunner had two attack and the rifleman had one attack. Oof, and they managed to suppress my Pablo. It's not good. Then the tanks, he has, the, he has one attack and he has two attacks. They have to roll three dice to try to destroy the wall and they fail miserably because they need a six. So all in all from this, all of this, I only got Pavlov disrupted. I'm happy. Of course I wish nothing had happened, but I'm very happy it wasn't so bad. Now I get, got to get my stuff together here and start clearing up this place. So I'm moving Holov there into the green. And I'm moving my 80 guy here. So I can fire. Actually, I'm moving them. Nah. Yeah, okay. I'm moving them to Sheshog, who gets a free move. He gets to go down here. Alright, so. Hmm. Okay, these guys, let's see, what should I do? Yeah, I'll get the AT first. These guys will fire at the Panzer, and they will actually fire at the Panzer II first. Uh, this this uh, attack rifle has three dice, but I have an Inspire token there, who gives all AT teams one extra dice, so I will attack with four dice on the Panzer II. Four or higher, and I get fives. So I could have kill, killed the Panzer III, but I wanted to play it safe. So these guys get exhausted and I'm gonna use this lad here to bring in Voronov in case I wanna try to do a storm raid. I could have fired with one of them but I want Voronov on my side here. Okay that's it. Alright next Soviet card base. Oh, all right. So we get our second, uh, the sixty-second army command post. And what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna initiate a storm raid, and we're gonna do so with uh, with Voronov. Voronov has the storm raid ability, meaning he will roll two extra dice when doing a storm raid. I need to roll twelve or higher. I like to play it safe and calculate that every die will only roll two. So with his three dice, I will roll six. That means I would need uh, at least three other men. I don't feel like I have the manpower for that right now. So I'm gonna gamble a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and just take one more man. So there's gonna be four die. Or four dice. So one die for Shegnogolov and three die for uh, Voronov. Let's see, I need to roll 12 totally or higher. Mm. Can I do it? Four dice, that's not good. Yeah, this is a dangerous game to play, man. Oh, I can't make up my mind. Yeah, also note please that the card is purple uh, and that means the purple zone has to be clear. I'm gonna go ahead and bring another guy. And that means five dice. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so one fell on the floor. I'm gonna reroll that, but we have 10, 12 already, so we're good to go. We maybe needed didn't need to bring that for the guy in. 5, 8, 10, 12. Okay. So this one is ours and we have six more victory points. And now we're gonna roll of the survival. They need five or six to survive. Anything under five will they're dead. Vernon first. Ah, he's dead. But I'm gonna go ahead and save him with my med kit. And then we have Lushenko, and he survived. And then we have the last man, whose name I can't pronounce, Chernogolov. Oof, he also survives. 
that's very lucky indeed. All right, we have our first storm raid completed, which gives us six victory points. Let's keep this going. I'll use the 267th anti-air and then I'll use the 1083rd to get rid of two disruption tokens. The marked face, we get scouts on number four. And we'll get a Panzer free on number three. Why do all the armor go there? I don't understand it. And we get steel caps. We get two of them. And I'm going to use both of my anti-air tokens to fire at him with four dice. And they are dead. There's two of them and I got two. Basically, I mean, there's a 50% chance with every dice. So I am guess if there's two steel caps, I'm going to roll four dice just to play it safe. So, we did good, and we go back to the Wehrmacht, uh, the Soviet counter phase. Alright. So, I'm gonna go ahead and move him there, and have him move there. And I'm gonna fire at the scouts with my sniper, with four dice. And I didn't get him. Scouts are hard. They're rough. And I'm using this lad here to fire two at the machine gunner. I need four or higher. And the machine gunner is dead. And then I'm just going to go ahead and remove this one from Pablo. And that's three, that's three actions. Go back to the Soviet phase, we only have three cards, we need to shuffle them. And now it's gonna get rougher because we have two additional fog of war cards in here because of the Stuka bombings. Cars. That's not good, but at least it will be better in the next turns. Uh, let's see, what should I do? Alright, I'll use this to get some more tokens in there. Should I? Nah, I shouldn't. I'll use both of them to get anti-air tokens because Stukas are coming. They always are. Wehrmacht face Stukas. Told you. Using both of them to roll four die. There's three Stukas this time and we got two of them. So there's one survived. And he's bombing me uh, on number 13. Another Stuka, three attacks, uh, eight, that's one attack, uh, six, I don't like having six bomb, that's two attacks, last one, 12. And they really don't like my AA. Okay, a rifleman. Not for free. That's not good. That's not good at all. Alright. We're still alive. We're still fighting to defend Pablo's house. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and just unexhaust him. 
and exhaust him. And exhaust him as well. Yeah, I, I need to recruit some men now. I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I only have nine men in there. I need more men. Uh, come on, yeah, I got it. I wish I had gotten two of them. So I'm gonna bring in some commanders now. Or at least one. And I can't bring in more men now because if I do, I will blow my limit. I will have 11 men and next resupply phase, they will take three full tokens. So I have to make do with him. Four points, that's sad. Because now I have two points here I can't use. I could get a weapon. I guess I'll get the mortar then. Alright, let's see. I'll get some more anti-air. Oh no I don't, I'll just remove the disruption token. And I'll bring in some stuff I guess. That's basically all I can do. Right. I'm getting a little bit nervous now because of this. Attack building, okay. And it's purple, which is bad because purple is saying want the stout to five. Five or higher, yes. He takes a hit. And a rifleman. Please don't go on number three, Mr. Rifleman. Uh rifleman goes on two. I'm very happy about that. And a machine gunner. Please don't go on number three, Mr. Machine Gunner. Oh, he goes on four. Okay, I gotta start taking out some of these guys because I'm getting scared. Okay, we see here we're gonna have a resupply phase uh, next turn. So that's good, then I can start recruiting more men. All right, so I'm moving him up. Moving him there, and he's he goes on that place, and he's changing place with Grushenko, and I'm using the sniper again to fire. Let's see, now I'm using Hoholov to fire two guys at the rifleman in number three, and he doesn't get that, of course. So I'll have to use my sniper. I don't like to use the sniper to attack the rifleman, but I have to now because I don't want to lose. So four die, four or higher, and he barely got him. All right, and then I'm using him to reactivate three boys to be ready to, for battle. Okay, well that's it. <clears throat> We're gonna get some AA. We're gonna get a lot of AA. Using one to remove a disruption token. And using other two to get to AA tokens. And take note also that they have to correlate with here it says the 1083rd. Um, so all of them says that. Otherwise, it would say the 267th if you want to put AA on the north uh, tokens. All right, oops.
Okay, so next uh, Wehrmacht phase, we have a resupply. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we will lose two of these food tokens. A machine gunner. On number two. I'm getting a lot of men now, I have to... Oh, that was what I was afraid of. When you have a lot of stuff, that's what's the problem. An assault. So let's start with the infantry. They're gonna suppress number five in green, which is Grushenko. They're gonna use two, three, four. Die, six. And they miss. Very lucky. And then we're moving on to the infantry in the red. They will try to suppress number three, which is my sniper, with two, one, so three. And they fail. And then we have the tanks that are firing two plus two, four dice. They need six to break the wall, which they do. That's bad. Everything is bad in this game, everything that happens. All right. And we get another storm group card, uh, which would be stupid for me to try to uh, do, but I would probably do it because I like it. <laughs> uh, okay, what should I do? I'm using Pablo to unexhaust these guys. I need them for next turn, ready to go. I'm firing at... Oops, that's the wrong tokens. And I'm firing at... the tank there with my anti-tank team. Four guys, five or higher. Whew, I got him. Okay. Hopefully now I will get some recruitment points so I can start filling up the house again. Yes, I got it. At least I got one. So we're getting the next commander and we're also getting a anti-tank guy uh, with that card. We'll use that to get rid of the disruption token. Yeah, that's how we play it. And yeah, we use that to put the stuff in there. That's three cards. Another Wehrmacht phase. We get the Stukas. And there's three of them. So we're using two anti tank anti air tokens, which is four dice. And we get two of the Stukas, meaning one of them survives. And he bombs number 12, which is already disrupted, and moves on to number 13. A rifleman again. On number 1. I've got to start dealing with green now. We get an artillery attack, which will attack red. With 3 dice, he needs 5 or higher. And he fails. Thank you. Yeah, it's when those walls start coming down, it requires a lot of work to save them. Hmm, okay. Grushenko switches place with Hochlov. Uh, I have all commanders in the house now, so I get to do four moves and four actions. Very powerful. Uh, I'll move him. I'll move him to Glushenko's place. And I'll move him there. Uh, okay, I'll use this lad here to call in 
unauthorized die. Uh, there's no need, he doesn't have an AT gun anyway, so I can't use him. F4 actions, what should I do? Alright, I use the sniper here to fire at the scouts. Four dice, five or higher. And he gets in, thank you. I use this guy to fire two at the machine gunners. And I get him, yes. And I'll use this guy to fire uh, one die at the rifleman. 50% chance to get him, come on, nope. Uh, I'll use him to fire at the machine gunners. Oh, I got him. All in all, a pretty decent turn. But I need to get some anti-tank men into the house now. At least fog of war cards. Okay, I got my recruitment points now. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 men into the house. I don't want to have more than 15. Uh, so I can get 3 more guys. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one to get the better anti-tag gun. This one. And I have 7 more points to use. <coughs> Two more men. That's, I think I'm about getting the mortar, but I'm not sure because I don't even have enough. Yeah, I have exactly enough to use them once. The forward spotter are very good. They can really save you sometimes. Yeah, I'm gonna get the mortar, guys. Why not, right? Okay, so that's both of them, and then I'm using that one to get some anti-air in the in the 1083rd. All right, Panzer four. Okay, so number two, Stukas, four of them. What good? I used my anti-air token to roll two die, and I didn't get a single one. Okay, this is gonna hurt. I'll put that nice here to remember. Uh, six, seven. That's the first attack. Thirteen moves to sixteen, which gets removed. Four. <laughs> That's not often that happens. It's the third attack, one more attack. Fifteen. And that's already instructed, so it goes to sixteen, and I will get a fog of war card in my discard pile. That's no fun. Hopefully not another Stuka. We get an artillery. I hope it goes on green. Yes, it does, because green is the strongest right now. Six. Six. It's hurt. All right. I mean, it's not looking terrible, but it's not looking great either. All right. My mortar man will move in here. And that's basically all they can do. Oh, I'm moving my AT guy here too. Uh, and while I have, I'm at it, he can, he can stay there. Okay, so I'm using my mortar to suppress 
I will get six suppression tokens right here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's quite a pile. Uh, I'm using my commander to unexhaust the sniper and the AT team. And as my fourth faction, I'm using Pablo to unexhaust himself. Now I'm getting this when I don't need them. Okay. I'll use this to get my stuff into the house. Use this one to bring up some artillery. I'll use that one to un disrupt that one. I'm just hoping not to get a bunch of stupids now. Attack building. Okay, doesn't matter which attacks, both of them have uh, five. He goes on green with three, five on there. Paw. My buildings, man. Panzer two. Number one. That's not good. If I get a troop there now, I have lost. So there's a chance I will get a one now. Oh, that was close. I could see the one. Number six. Lord. Okay, it's time to act. So. Question is, what should I do? All of my men are in the wrong place here. I'll switch place with the AT team. They'll go there and they will go on Pablo's space. He will get a free move. I'll move in there. This AT team will fire on the Panzer II with, uh, we use this team, they will use 4 die on him. So 4 or higher, yeah, I would have been surprised if he didn't have. And then I shall use. Pablo to wake up these guys. And then I'll use him to reactivate re himself or unexhaust himself, whatever you want to call it. Alright, next card phase. Let's hope I'll get some AA because that's what I need. I'll use that one to get more food tokens in there. I get to take five tokens, so I'll use those and the rest. I don't have a choice, I'll just have to use the sappers. Uh, I'll use the AA there to get on the 267. And this one I'll use to get on the 1,084. More turner. Let's hope it goes on red. And it does, thankfully. He will try to suppress number two, which is my AT team. With four dice. Ah, 
I get to choose which one and it doesn't really matter. Oops. Artillery on oh, purple, paradise four or higher. Oh. Okay, I need sappers now. Scouts on oh, two. Things are getting a little bit out of hand, I have to say. All right, sniper moves here. And the sniper will fire at the scouts with four dice. Uh, these scouts or higher and he gets them thankfully. Uh, Hochler will also fire. He will fire at the rifleman with two die. And he also gets them thankfully. Uh, I will use him to react remove this disruption token. Reactivate these two men. And then I will use the last one to reactivate Pablo. Uh, back to the Soviet card face. Oops, it's one too many. Alright, so I'm going to use this one to remove that, this one to put a new more token there. Uh, I'll use this to get some AA, because Stukas are common. They always are. Uh, we get a Stug on 6. And then we get a uh, pencil free. Oops. On oh, number two. Oh. What's up with them always going in the same place? Then we get a sniper. We have a med kit, so we can't say whoever gets hit if we want to. He will fire on red. Hopefully four, because I, I don't like those snipe, those guys. Okay, he's dead. I'm not gonna save him because. He's not that valuable. So that's my first KIA. Next round is going to be the resupply, which means I'm going to lose a heck of a lot of men because I only have two food tokens. So um, we'll see how that goes. All right, time to kill some tanks. <clears throat> okay, these two men. We'll fire at the Panzer free with four dice. This Panzer free, five or higher. Yes, we got him. These men will fire five dice at the Panzer four. And a six. Oh, I got it. Very nice, very nice indeed. Okay, Soviet car plays. Need to reshuffle them because they're all out. It might look like I see the cars, but when I'm shuffling, I'm turning my head away. I promise you, I can't see them. Volga! I need one more Volga! Oh, I got one more Volga! I can't believe it! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14! If I hadn't got the Volga there, I'd be dead next turn. So dead. Whoa. That's just incredibly lucky, man. Uh, Oh, 
Okay, and I'm using that one to bring them in. So I get one more food token, one separate token, and this one uh, will give me go back into the stock and it will give me five suppression tokens. Uh, let's see. I'm using this to get a forward artillery. Come on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, fourteen. Should I use it or not? Is the question. No, I'm not going to use it, it'll be a waste. I'm going to use it to repair the line. Alright. So we get our resupply, which will cost us exactly three food tokens, and it's our last resupply. And we get our rifleman. On number four, the question is now should we suppress him? I'm using one suppression token to suppress him, and he's not suppressed, so he goes on number four. And we get a sniper, he will attack the red zone, and he will attack. Number six, with it, it's not there, so we will kill one of them. And now is the question: Should I save them? I'm not sure because I don't like mortars very much, but I think I'm gonna do it because I invested in this in the suppression token. So I'll save him. He's good. All right. Oops. Uh, this one turns into a storm rail, and this one goes out of the game. I usually put them blue, blue side up to remember that I didn't achieve it. Okay, so back to this phase now. I will use Pablo to reactivate these guys. And I'm using him to reactivate himself. Him to reactivate himself. And him to reactivate himself. Four actions. All right, so we go into the Soviet card phase yet again. And I want to start recruiting now. I'm going to use that to remove this so I can start recruiting again, the disruption token number four. And I'm going to use that, uh, this one to remove the disruption token from the AA. I always get a lot of fog of war cards when I have shuffled the deck. Still guess. Okay, we have six tokens. I'm going to use two of them to roll four dice. And I got all three. That's nice. Ooh, this card. Hey, assault. So we'll start with these two. They will suppress number one on green, which is my AT team. They will use two dice and they will roll four or higher, which they do. And one of them is suppressed. And then we'll use this one, he'll try to suppress number 6, this is not there, so he'll try on a mortar, one die, he needs 5 or higher and he fails. This lab will try to suppress number 5, not there, goes down to Blushenko, he will use 2 die, he needs 3 or higher. I'm pretty sure this was at 4, is it really at 3? Okay, I want to play it safe, I don't want to cheat, but I'm 100% sure it was down at 4. I'll check later in the video to see, to be sure. 
Okay, so we'll have the tanks now. The tank there is firing two guys, fire higher, pull. This one fires three, and he needs four higher, and he does it. Okay, this one is down at three now, and I have to repair it, otherwise I'm gonna be in a heap of trouble. Rifleman. On number one. Alright, it's getting tense now. I'm using my commander to remove this disruption token, to reactivate my second AT team. Uh, I'm using this, this guy, should I know? Using him to reactivate himself. And I'll move the mortars. I'll let them stay there and I'll use them to suppress. They have a six suppression value, but I only have five suppression tokens, so they go there. <laughs> Look at that pile. Okay. That's all of the actions this turn. And we go back to the Soviet car face. So we'll use this. No, we don't. We'll use this to get some sappers into the house. We'll use this to recruit men. And we'll use take all of the cheap ones, I guess. It's hard. I'm going to get a uh, forward obser uh, observer to try to, or forward spotter to try to use my artillery. And then I just get three of the one point guys for points. 226 to get some. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm using the 139 to get a token there to protect myself. Oof. Okay, this is getting tense now because I'm about to lose this side of the wall. Suppression on purple again. We will suppress number three, my commander. And we have another tank. Please don't go in red. He goes in red, of course. It's very mean, a Panzer IV, I don't like those guys. And a machine gunner. He goes on five. I will use three suppression tokens on him. And I got him. He doesn't go on, I got one four and he has four and a half, he's suppressed. All right. So, I'm moving these guys up here. And I'm using them. This guy switches spot place here with the sniper. I'm using them to fire at the Panzer free with four dice. And then I'm using the other AT team to fire at tank 4. And I need a 6. Oh, I got him. I got him. Fog of War. AA Fog of War. Too much AA, man. Okay, 267, let's get some AA over here, and AA on the other side as well. Stukas, let's use all six of them, five guys, 
And we got four, we got all of them. Because there's four Stukas. It's Scouts. On number six. I have no suppression tokens there. So he's gonna end up there. And Stug, and if he goes on number six, we have lost one. Okay, I, I have to admit this is why I love the game because every time I play it, no matter how many times I play it, oops, this is how I get in the last last turns. I get so nervous. It's nerve-wracking. I'm so nervous right now. Let's see how much I accidentally moved the camera. It's coming to an end now and I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna move my uh, forward spotter there. He go back into the reserves. Uh, moving his left there. So my forward spotter is firing at them. He's gonna fire two dice at him and him. I remove the artillery token. Artillery is always nice. We'll see how it goes. Two dice on the machine gunner. Got him. Two die at the stoop. I didn't get him, but I got one. Uh, let's see. Sniper is firing at the rifleman with four die. <laughs> I didn't get him. I didn't get the rifleman with the sniper. This guy is firing one at those riflemen. He didn't get him. He's firing one at the rifleman. The same rifleman. Come on. Got him. Okay. Next card face. Five of war, of course. Hmm. That's not what I want. I'll use another artillery token. I would like to use the separate token, but there's no use right now. I'll use these two to remove this. And take a new one. And now I have all four, so next turn I can do four actions. If there will be a next turn. We'll see. Things are gonna go down here. Soon enough. Pants are free. Please don't. Oh, go so number six. Machine gunner, come on. Oh, number one. Oh no, come on. This is bad. This is super bad. Oh, free. Oh lord, I thought I was dead there. Okay, we'll. Use four of them to to suppress him. Let's see how many cards now. I'll use I'll use a bunch of them. Come on, because there's three cards left. So there's not going to be any more units now. We're in the clear. I'll use all of them. Come on. I'll use all of my suppression tokens because I don't need to save them anyway. So we'll start with five. It's going to be five guys. And I got him. Okay. So the, the scout doesn't go on, and these ones are used to because I didn't roll for them, but I would have. Whew, okay. So now is our chance to make our plan. The, the last cards, I happen to know what they are because I played so much. There will be one assault, meaning they will attack. There will be one Stuka attack, and there will be one uh, last raid. So I need to kill this guy to be able to engage him. All right. Okay, so I'll use him. No, I'll use him. To reactivate the sniper. This guy, this guy, I'll reactivate him, 
correct that to eight. Let's see, one. Oh, that's too many. It's too many. I'll use this to remove them. Let's see. I'll use two actions on him. One time disrupt himself, another time exhaust himself. I don't think you can do that, to be honest. But you can only do one thing at once. So I'm going to play it safe and I'm activating him and stealth instead. And Hard. This is very hard. I'll activate. Never mind. I'll activate him because I'm going to get rid of those so I can move in more men to fire. So I use one action to activate him, one action to uh, undisrupt him, one action to activate him. The last action I use him to unexhaust him, him, and him. All right, here we go. This is the last phase for my Soviets. I was wishing that I would get the. Uh, uh, the flotilla to bring in the sappers to repair this wall because they are going to break it but I didn't so these guys are going to get disrupted that's bad because I want to have my commanders ready to fight uh, let's see then what I should do I can't recruit either nice that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do operational support cannot be disrupted the 62nd the 13th guards rifle these guys or these guys four points one of that one of those one of those and one of those four victory points all right should we do one more? I can't, I have no more ammunition. <laughs> I can't do that one possibly. Uh, I'll remove that one. Forget these two. Remember, I can do four actions now because I have, I have these four guys. That's nice. Okay, last Wehrmacht phase. Let's go. Boof. It's gonna be horrible. Let's see which the green will suppress. They will suppress number two, my AT team. They will suppress him with four dice. And they manage to suppress him. One of them. Because they needed four or higher. He will try to suppress number six with one dice. He needs four or higher. He fails. He will try to suppress number three which is not good three or higher oh that's not good he's gonna die now because they will fire okay the tank will fire three dice at green four or higher he managed it goes down to three no tank there but here we have tanks we have with three and three so i need six times i'm gonna have to roll two times so 
So they need 3 or higher and they do it and it's already down at 3. So these two guys who are already suppressed, they die. Killed in action. The rest of them gets disruption tokens. All of them. Uh, we have a Stuka. We're going to use two of our AA tokens to fight four guys. <laughs> Not one hit, but one fell on the floor. Well, <laughs> let's see if I can reach it. Yeah, we didn't get a single Stuka. Horrible. So, he's gonna bomb us four times. Uh, 15, move that one. the last Wehrmacht phase and I get one turn to try to clear the red zone one and only one turn four actions actually I have three actions now because he is dead very sad I'm gonna start with him let's see I'll move these guys away I'll move him there Start with him firing one dice at the rifleman. Uh, four dice, sorry. Come on. I got him with one of them. Okay, oops. Let's see. So, red is clear, which means I can initiate the milk house raid after this, but I have still two moves. And the question is what I should do. I will use him to reactivate himself so he's ready for the milk house raid and I'll use him to undisrupt himself. Okay, so we actually survived. It was getting a little bit tough there for a while. Let's see if we can pull off the milk house raid. So the red has to be obviously clear. I never noticed that there are four places here. There's three, three, all of them three except this one four. Well, you learn something new every day. Oh, I'm sweating, man. Anyway, the milk house raid, so we need 30 to get it. 30 roll, and I would like to have at least 10 die, but we'll see about that. We'll use our three, two commanders, and him with the storm ability, they will get three dice uh, on their own. And then we'll use these to get so they get 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And let's use the last guys too because I really want to get that milk house. So we get 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 dice. We should be able to do it. If we are not very, very unlucky. So let's see, 5 dice. We get 10, 15, uh, 17, 18. 18. So that's. They have rolled their die. Let's see. 5 more die. What did we have? 17? No, 15, 15. So 15, 20, 26, 30. Okay, we made it. Uh, we have made it. Let's do one last round just to see with the last guys. 
yeah, we won. We got 30 without a question. So we managed to get the milk house. Really nice. That's 15 victory points. If I get the milk house, I'm always happy, no matter how many of these forces we have. But before we end, we have to roll about who will survive or not. Sharinyashenko, will you survive? No, I'm sorry. You sacrifice yourself. Gridian, will you survive? Nope. He died. My commander, come on. Nope. Horrible. Pavlo, come on, man. Ah, Pavlo. He's dead. Hoholo, come on. No. Death tolls are rising. Kislev. <laughs> Kislev didn't make it either. Vorogov. <laughs> wow, okay. This is not good. Sarva. <laughs> He's dead too. Last man standing. Stefano Shvili. Can you do it? Come on, Stefan. Yes! Stefan survived. One man survived the milk raid. The milk house raid. Okay, so now it's time to calculate how many victory points did we get. So we got two successful storm groups. We got four successful operational support. And we have few men alive. Many died from the last storm raid. I shouldn't have used so many, that was stupid. But I got excited. And quite many men here left to be recruited. We have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 men. So that's 15 points. And many of these guys are one point recruitment. But I didn't get enough recruitment cards the last turns. Well, let's calculate. It's one point for each man surviving. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight men that's still alive. So that's eight points. So let's calculate this. Eight plus three points, that's eleven. Plus one, twelve. Plus four, sixteen. Plus four, twenty. Plus fifteen, that's thirty-five points. Plus six, that's forty-one points. Sounds a lot, but I'm going to lose a lot now. 41 points minus, uh, let's see here, uh, 3 for every Wehrmacht counter. So 41, that's 38, 35, 32, 29, 26, 23, 20. So the final points are 20. I wish I would have gotten 21. I, f I think maybe that's a high victory. No, actually, 20. That's perfect. 20 points, as we can see here in the manual. 20 to 29 points is Order of Surov, which is a major victory. I'm always happy to get that. If I get a minor victory, I almost, almost feel like I failed. But a major victory, I'm happy. Okay. So that's uh, Pavlo's house, uh, one hour and 23 minutes. Uh, well, as you could tell, I get excited in the, last, uh, in the last rounds because, you know, I was so close to losing there. Number one and number six were full. That, that's a 33% chance of losing when I drew new Wehrmacht units. I thought I was going to lose. That would be embarrassing, but... That's what happens sometimes. You gotta take the risk too. Otherwise, you will not get the major victory. Uh, anyway, if you saw me do any mistake, which is highly possible, because, uh, like I said, you get excited, and I try to play fast, not to make too long videos. So if you saw me do an error, please comment to make other people know and not make the same mistake as I did. If you have any questions regarding strategy or the rules, just send me a comment and I'll answer. Uh, again, thank you for watching. And uh, if you want, subscribe. I'll try to do more videos of more games. And I'll definitely do more Pavlos House next time. I'm going to use the uh, tactic cards, which makes it so much more difficult, but also so much more fun uh, and rewarding to win. 
even though I will probably only get a minor victory if I even win. Alright, I hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.